What happened? What's going on? Sith interdictor ship. They must have been waiting for us on the hyperspace route. We're caught in their tractor beam. Do you recognize the ship? It's the Leviathan. Saul Karath's vessel. My old mentor. Admiral Kareth taught me everything I know about being a soldier. He was a legend in the Republic fleet, and a hero to me, until he betrayed us. When the Sith attacked my homeworld, the Leviathan, which is Saul Kareth's flagship, was at the head of the fleet. My family was destroyed that day, and my wife died in the Sith bombardment. I'm not gonna do anything stupid. I mean, I won't throw our lives away in some mad quest for vengeance, but if I get a chance to kill Saul during our escape, Nobody better get in my way. Talk of an escape is somewhat premature, don't you think? We don't even have a plan to get out of this mess yet. And I'll admit, it won't be easy. Saul's no fool, and he won't underestimate us either. You can count on plenty of guards watching every move we make. Maybe Admiral Carath doesn't know how many of us there are on board. We all have special talents. Talents we could exploit so that one of us could stage a rescue. We just have to figure out who has the best chance to avoid capture so they can come and rescue us later. It's a long shot, but it's our only hope. Well, if we're gonna pick someone to save our skins, we better do it quick. In another minute, we're gonna have Sith troops marching up our loading ramp. Maybe I can goad the guards into making a mistake. If I get them mad enough, they might put me in a separate cell to punish me. With them focusing so much on you three, I might be able to sneak out of my cell and come rescue the rest of you. It's a risk we have to take, Big Z. I can slice my way free of any security cell. Don't worry, I can pull this off. I won't let you down. You'll see. Hold on, they're dragging us into the docking bridge. Bastila, Karth, and the crew have been taken prisoner as you ordered, Commander. Excellent. Have you searched the ship thoroughly? Admiral Karath warned me to be on alert for any kind of treachery. We found a young Twi'lek in the back. She's got quite the mouth on her. She swore at me and spit on my uniform. She tried to bite me through my armor, and you should hear what she said about my mother. Admiral Karath needs to teach her the proper respect for the Sith. The Admiral doesn't have time to bother with some Twilight girl. Drag her away to solitary confinement. I'll leave it up to you to teach her the proper respect for the Sith. Karth, it has been far too long since we last spoke. I see the recent months have not been kind in your case. I barely recognized you. But I recognize you, Saul. I see your face every night, even as I promise myself I will kill you for what you did to my homeworld. Did you learn nothing in your time under me? As a soldier, you should understand that casualties were unavoidable. This was an act of war. It was a cowardly act of betrayal. Your fleet bombed a civilian target into oblivion without warning or provocation, and the blood of those innocent people is on your hands. In war, even the innocent must die. The Sith would not accept me until I proved I had truly turned my back on the Republic by bombing the planet. My wife died in that attack, Saul. And for that, I swear I'll kill you. You used to be a man of action, not of empty words. Cling to your lust for revenge if you must, but spare me your tired threats. I've heard them all before. You're an insignificant part of these events anyway. Lord Malak is far more interested in your Jedi companions. He has great plans for them. We will never serve Malak or the Dark Side. The Sith will be destroyed, Admiral Karath, as will you if you don't turn away from this path. Your words are brave, Bastila, but the lure of the Dark Side is hard to resist. Or so I've been told. I wonder if your companion is as devoted to the light as you are. You're defiant. I'm certain Malak will find your loyalty to the Jedi amusing. The Dark Lord would probably reward me if I just killed you once and for all, but he may want to question you given the trouble you've caused him. 
And the history between you. You mean, oh, this can't be true, can it? You really don't know what's going on here, do you? Well, I won't be the one to deprive Malik of the pleasure of telling you himself. The Dark Lord will no doubt torture you for information and for his own twisted pleasure. Eventually, you will tell him everything. The Sith can be very persuasive. However, Lord Malak is in another sector. It may be some time before he arrives, so I suppose I will have to fill in for him until then. Activate the torture fields. <laughs> Enough. I don't want them to pass out before I question them. Malik will appreciate any information I can give him when he arrives. Don't waste your breath, Saul. We won't answer any of your questions. I'm sure you won't. However, we both know your friend's loyalties have proven in the past to be somewhat flexible. I am interrogating you, not the other way around. You will answer questions, not ask them. It is time to put your loyalty to the test. I doubt torturing you will gain me your true cooperation. Your will is too strong to be broken that way. However, even the strongest of heroes has trouble watching those they care about suffering. The interrogation will begin now. Each time you refuse to answer or give me a false answer, Karth will suffer. My pain is meaningless. Tell him nothing. I tire of these games. Now I want answers. On what planet is the Jedi Academy at which you were trained? Very well. This is the price of your resistance. Ah! Enough! You see what happens when you try to defy me. This first question was a test. Obviously, Malak knew the Academy was on Dantooine, and it has since been destroyed by our fleet. Dantooine is an empty graveyard now. Nothing is there but a smoking ruin and the charred remains of your former masters. It doesn't matter whether you believe me or not. The fact remains that the Jedi on Dantooine have been eradicated, along with any hope of someone coming to rescue you. Now, tell me your mission. How were the Jedi planning on using you to stop Lord Malak and our Sith Armada? Perhaps you need a reminder of the consequences of refusing to cooperate. No! Oh, oh, the ah! Listen, can you not hear him suffering? You can spare him further pain by simply answering my questions. Now I will ask again, on what mission did the Jedi Council send you? Perhaps another lesson is in order. No! Oh, oh, oh. No! I beg you! Mercy! No! I am surprised he did not pass out sooner. Rarely have I seen someone withstand such punishment and remain conscious. I see I am wasting my time here. When Malak arrives, you will learn my interrogation techniques are considered merciful among the Sith. I will leave you here in your cell with a small taste of the horrors you will suffer when Lord Malak arrives. <laughs> Don't try to move too quickly. You might not be fully recovered yet. Admiral Carath had his guards continue to torture you even after you passed out. They tortured all of us, though you got the worst of it by far. Saul wanted them to make us suffer. He's become some sort of sadistic monster. The dark side has perverted him, Karth. Once you start down the tainted path, it leads you ever further into the depths of evil. I fear he is forever lost. Yes. I suppose you're correct. Sometimes it's easy to lose sight of that hope in the face of such unbridled cruelty. But you speak the truth. I suppose I'm taking the news of Dantooine's destruction quite hard. First Taras, now the Academy. Is there no end to the killing? I'd like to believe that Saul was lying to us. But even as he said the words, I knew they were true. The Academy is gone. We should have felt a disturbance in the Force when the attack came. The fact that we did not is a bad sign. I fear the dark side is growing stronger, casting shadows our vision cannot pierce. I can only hope that some of the Jedi escaped. Rook, Bendar, Saar. I cannot imagine all of them being gone. In any case, we've lost our one place of refuge in the galaxy. None of this will matter if we don't get out of this prison before Saw gets back. 
Saul mentioned that Lord Malak was on his way. I think the Admiral left to prepare for his arrival and to report the results of our interrogation. It is fortunate you were able to resist the Admiral's questioning. The fate of the galaxy could be changed by revealing the slightest piece of vital information. I, uh, I have to confess something. There was a, there was a moment, just a moment, when part of me was hoping that you would tell him what he wanted to know, just to make the horrible pain stop. Now, I know you would never do anything to intentionally cause me pain, but you had no other choice. You couldn't betray our cause. I, I don't honestly know if I could have been as strong in your position. To watch you suffer like that, I... I might have cracked. Did you feel that? A disturbance in the Force? The Admiral has sent his message. The Dark Lord knows we're here now. Malak is coming. Well, then we better hope Mission busts us out of here before he arrives. Come on, girlie. Into the cell. Let's go. I haven't got all day to waste on you. I need to get back to my post. Quit crowding me. Sheesh. Of Megamorians, you didn't smell as bad as you said. You think you're pretty funny, don't you? But you're only making things worse for yourself. How come every time you open your mouth to talk, the scent of rancor dung comes out? Maybe a little time in solitary confinement will teach you the proper respect for the Sith. Now get into that cell. Who designed those Sith uniforms, anyway? A blind Rodian with a sick sense of humor? No, that's funny. You should tell that one to the torturer when he comes to deal with you. What? You're... you're going to torture me? No snappy comeback this time. The thought of torture scares you, hmm? Well, it should. The Sith have ways to inflict pain you can't even imagine. It may be a few hours before your torture begins. We're busy interrogating your friends right now. Hey, I know. You could use this time to think up witty ways to beg for mercy. <laughs> Or, I could use the keycard I lifted from your pocket to slice into the security panel and get myself out of this cell. Piece of cake. I wonder when people will stop underestimating me. Gotcha! Simple.
Gotcha. Darn it. Molirani Tonghi Dwama Agi Inkotune or Tonghi Wama Ji Agi Inkotun Tong Jiska Dosoki Kopa Bono Nakachu Labora na Winky Smack Toma Kuy Chas Kronki to Patslimo Chi Ita Kanki Chan na Kilikon Nikawa Dubaka Patisa Patisa Ichuta Yun Patisa Smilia! Tinguin ko ka chiwi aita ka chong chicha. Agi inko tune chuna muli ra. Smilia! Tinguin ko ka pa. Tinguin ko ka kimba ni chalora kun. Tung abashun ni. Tanghi wa magic. Achua penki. Yun Patisa Chiwa Aita Kava Gotcha Chao Baso Chino Molirani Bloop Tong Hitwama Ag I Inko Tune Or Tong Hitwama Ji Aki Jiska Dosoki Kopa Bono Nakachu Labora Na Winky
Good job, Mission. I know you wouldn't let us down. When we get out of this, I'm gonna see that you get a medal from the Republic for everything you've done. Now, if I remember the layout of the ship, our equipment should be in a storage chamber just through the north doors. After we grab our stuff, we need to get to the main bridge controls. The bridge is the only place that we can open the docking gates of the hangar where they've got the Ebon Hawk. We have to open those gates before we can fly out of here. We better get moving. I can feel the darkness of Malak's presence approaching, and I don't want to be here when he arrives. None of us is a match for the Sith Lord. Surprise and secrecy will serve us best. A small group might have a better chance of sneaking onto the bridge undetected while the others make their way down to the Ebon Hawk. Count me in, then. I've got a score to settle with the Admiral before we get off this ship. And I have a feeling I'm gonna find him on the Leviathan's bridge. That's a good idea. The others can get to the Ebon Hawk on their own, but Karth and I might need your help. The three of us will get our equipment and make our way to the bridge. The rest of you head down to the docking hangar where they've got the Ebon Hawk. You'll have to find a way to deal with the guards. Don't you worry about that. I know how to deal with the guards. They won't know what hit them. We'll meet you there as soon as we get those docking bay doors open. Just make sure the Hawk is ready to fly when we get there. And may the Force be with you. This is Candorus. We're at the Ebon Hawk. Like we figured, it's under heavy guard. But don't worry. We'll figure out a plan to take care of them. <laughs> 